Hi again folks, how's all doing? Uh, this is a Hornby R257 schools class locomotive uh, called Dover. Um, this was sent to me by a chap called John uh, and as you can see it's got a bit of a quartering issue. Um, so I'm not even going to attempt to run it. Um, but unusual for a Hornby locomotive to have a quartering issue like that. So there's obviously uh, something going on. So we'll get to the bench and we'll see what's happened. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll look at the tender later because I think that's just a straightforward ring fuel service. But what is going on with this locomotive that we've got a quartering issue? Uh, let's see. So those two wheels are fine. Oh God, no, they're... Yeah, the rear wheels, now which one is it? Oh dear, it's the non-insulated side splines are stripped. That's really what I didn't want. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Um, I mean, the options here really are replace the axle and at least this wheel. Um, but we could try thread locker um, or super glue just to, to hold the wheel. We'll get it apart and we'll have a look. That's really the best thing. I'm just noticing here, uh, it's a tender driven model this by the way. Um, on the drawbar there's a wire connecting the screw to the contact there. It's not a million miles away from what I did on the, the Evening Star. Okay, let's get this uh, apart. We've got a nice big screw in the front here. Unscrew, just lift off, all comes out nice and easy. So we've got pickups on this side, yeah, okay, that goes through to that. Yeah, that looks reasonably efficient, I wouldn't anticipate too much of a problem with that. I don't know what that is. Eesh. So it's all a bit mucky. Um, it's going to need a good clean out. So there's also a wire uh, connecting the front bogey. So the uh, the electrical pickup of this should be pretty good actually. I'm assuming I have to take the drawbar off to get into everything else. Okay, does that now? Lift off this underframe. No. What's keeping the underframe on then? So we'll need to pull that out and then pull that out. Like that. And then the things that hold the pickups in place. Act like clips. So once we release those, with a little bit of downward force, it should all come out. This really <laughs> does not want you to take this apart. And there's the wheel off. That's how we look at it. I would say the spline on the axle is fine, so I think it's been stripped on the wheel. I wonder if Hornby have a special tool for this, because there's three clips either side. I think I've loosened them on this side, and then I have to do the same on this side. One of them's actually a bit broken. I think that's it. There we go. That's, that's how the bogey sits on, it's just clipped in there. But this underframe, I mean look at it, so you've got one, two, three clips this side and there should be one, two, three, but one is broken. That's horrible. There's probably not much point in gluing that clip back on because <laughs> it won't make any difference. Wait a minute, can I pull that out and get that threaded through there. So at least we can get that out of the way, get that out of the way. But that is really, really loose. And that would probably do it like that. So not like that. Oh, 
come on, stop being an idiot. Right, okay. Okay. I just want to see what I want to get to. Um, I have to make sure these bearings are just in the right position. Come on. There, that's where that wheel should be. So if we set that to nine o'clock, that's at 12 o'clock, and that's at 12 o'clock. Okay, we'll give this all a good brush out with the monkey brush, because uh, there's quite a bit of dirt in here that I want to get rid of. And then I think what we'll do is we'll contact cleaner, and we want to clean out that wheel and that axle just to degrease them because I'm going to try thread locker uh, to lock that wheel onto the axle. Brush out this front bowie because it's got a lot of dust and fluff in it. I really don't like the design where um, you have to fit the front bogey to fit the underframe. You know, the, the front bogey is held in place by the underframe. Um, and there's also that pickup wire connection. So, you know, all has to be connected up. What we'll do is, while we've got these wheels all loose, is give them a, a bit of a clean. I'll get some tea cut. And I'm going to clean. Uh, which wheels have the contacts? It's this one, isn't it? Make sure the insides of these wheels are clean as well as the, the tyres. And just give them a polish over with the contact cleaner. Okay. So all the wheels now been cleaned, we can now start to uh, think about getting this back together and sorting that wheel. Um, so I want to make sure that Everything's in the right position. Get this axle sorted. And then I want to feed this wire through. Like that. Which connects to. will be like that. I'm trying to get this underframe on without disturbing this axle. Okay, I guess there's nothing for it, but I just try. So that'll go through there, that'll go through there, and then clip it down. Access the motion bracket. I've got that out of position. There we go. Okay. So we'll pop that down through there, which comes in contact with that wheel. That will go down there. That will go down there. Which is held in place with that screw there. So it's all going together an awful lot easier than it came apart. So now that it's all back in one piece, um, let's see what we can do about the wheels. Let's sort these so that is. at 12 o'clock and then we'll get some tape which will hopefully hold these wheels in position enough so they're at 12 o'clock that one is then at Nine o'clock, okay. And then I want to put that one on at nine o'clock. 
So we'll get the thread locker and I want to put some thread locker on this spline. That'll do it. Don't want too much. And we'll put this wheel on at nine o'clock. And I'll get my wheel spacing tool. Just to see if we're in the kind of ballpark of where we should be. Okay, so hopefully that thread locker will, will work. I haven't used thread locker before in a locomotive, but I think uh, in this particular application it's a good idea. Um, because, yeah, I mean, super glue will work. Um, but because that wheel and against the spline is, you know, it's just not gripping. Um, hopefully the thread locker will just, you know, grip it enough. Um, but it should still be removable if you ever wanted to remove the wheels. That's the idea behind using the thread locker instead of super glue. Um, but if this thread locker doesn't work, then it'll be super glue. All right. While that's set setting, I'm going to leave that for twenty four hours uh, to set. So I'm not doing any more to the chassis today. Uh, but we shall have a look at the tender, uh, which I'm hoping is a nice, straightforward Ringfield motor service. Uh, so it doesn't look like this has been tampered with too much. That feels very tight, and there's a big screw there, I wonder, before we go trying to force the body off. Undo the big screw first and see what happens. It's certainly going to remove the coupling, but it might just remove that as well. No, it doesn't. Okay. There we go. It's just so rare to come across one of these that's intact. It's not been forced off and broken. Okay, that all looks in excellent condition. There we go. Oh, they're very oily. Too much oil in there. Remove the clip. Remove the gears. Brush retainers are screwing. Just loosen them, don't remove them. There's one brush and spring intact. It looks in very good condition. Do we have clips? We have clips and they're buried away in the recesses of the this block. That's it. That should just pry it off now. There we go. And there's commutator. Get the monkey brush in. Get rid of all the loose material and fluff and gunk. We'll just get the tea cut into it. Blast with some contact cleaner. Squish out the axle shafts. Ooh, there's quite a bit of dirt in there. We'll give this a squish. Reasonably happy with all that. We'll uh, pop this back on. Pop it in place and we'll get some gear oil into there. Okay, get these brush retainers ready. And the brushes are actually in good condition and nice and clean, so there's not much point in trying to clean them. Um, they're absolutely fine. So, I'll pop that, that one down in there. That one in place.
that's uh, running very very quietly actually get the molly grease and we'll uh, grease all the spindles up spindles aren't worn at all so not a huge mileage on this locomotive I don't think given that uh, there's no sign of wear on them and the brushes are in good condition so I don't think this has been run that much so there to go in there that in that get my battery Let's see how the gears behave I actually just put a bit of gear oil on that pinion. And clean the inside of the wheel and the axle as well. And then give them a good squish with this. I'll put some power lube on the axle. And pop it through. The gear wheels on. in put that in there okay so i left this overnight um just to give the thread locker every chance so let's take this tape off now this feels about okay so any movement in these wheels no that seems okay and Quartering seems okay, thankfully. I was very worried um, if I got the quartering a little bit out, then things could have got ugly. That seems tickety dandy. Right, okay, we'll get uh, all the linkages oiled up. Right, okay, um, I think we're just a bit done. Let's uh, Get the tender on here and see if this goes. And it does in both directions. Okay, so the body's a bit uh, dusty, so we'll get it cleaned up. I do like the school's locomotives, they're really nice. Might get myself one that I think for I think there's two locomotives I'd, I'd like for for southern stuff uh, the oh, what's it the M, M7 and a schools class I think we'll just get a damp cotton bud in this and give it a wipe over because it seems quite dirty okay lots of dust okay so with that cleaned up Pop this tender body back on, which clips on nicely. I nearly forgot to take the coupling off the tender, didn't I? Put that back on. And then we'll fit on the body. So how does this go on? A little slot at the back. Now there we are, that's this uh, school's class repaired and cleaned up. Uh, let's go and stick it in the layout. Okay, let's turn on the power slowly. And nicely in it.
So there we are, that's this Hornby Schools class uh, running again. Um, I, I think the locomotive is way too light. That really needs some weight in it. Um, you know, just you just touch it and it moves. So a big chunk of lead or something in there just to give that a little bit more downward force. And I think that would run even better. But uh, yeah, it's running absolutely fine. Uh, very nice locomotive. Um, I might pick myself up a schools class at some point. Okay, folks, catch you later.